I'm here with Steve Nicholson, Chief Football Writer of the Derby Telegraph after the Rams 3-1 win at Brentford. Steve, your thoughts on the game? Yeah, first of all, a bit different stood out here on the road today. We, we had to rush out and move our car, so that gives you a bit of colour to the video. And we seem to be on a flight path to Heathrow as well, looking at uh, the planes going over. Uh, well, uh, a win, a uh, much-needed win for Derby. I always thought this was an important game. I thought if they could get three points today, you know, they could, they could be right back in that mix. They were never out of the mix for, for promotion for me, but, but they're certainly right back in it. Uh, strange game, really. Derby with a better side first half. They, uh, they had chances early on to score. They didn't accept those chances. And when that happens, you always worry a little bit whether you know the, the, the opportunity may have gone. Uh, the home goalkeeper had a superb first half. Uh, and then Derby in the second half fell behind to a great goal from Alan Judge. I thought Judge was terrific today. He's a really good player for Brentford. Uh, and they fell 1-0 down and you thought, oh no, not again. You know, is it same old, same old. But to be very fair to the team, showed great character, real desire. Good fitness levels. Fitness has been in the news recently. Darren Russell believes the team needs to be fitter uh, for the championship challenge. Uh, showed great fitness levels, great desire, great energy. Got back into the game with a, a slice of good fortune, the way the ball ricocheted to Jeff Hendrick. He, he put it away very neatly. One one. Attack in the end was 1,600 Derby fans. They roared the team on and, and the team responded. Uh, got a second goal through Cyrus Christie and then rode their luck at the end when Brentford nearly equalised on two or three occasions. One was cleared off the line by Jacob Butterfield and then they broke away and Chris Martin scored a, a third goal and completed a 3-1 win. And that was Martin's first goal for some time and Cyrus Christie's first goal for the club. Yeah, uh, first of all Cyrus Christie, uh, unlikely scorer. I had a quick look actually, I think it's his first league goal for almost three years. It's his first goal for Derby. He popped up, right place, right time. He actually showed great desire in the way he started the move. He fed Bradley Johnson. He followed the ball in when he could have stood still. He didn't. He got his reward, smashed the ball into the net. And then Chris Martin, you know, one goal in 18 games before today, and that was from the penalty spot. He needed a goal. Everyone knows how important Chris Martin is to Derby County's team. You know, he's been a fantastic player for them, been a fantastic goal scorer, and he got the third goal, and I believe afterwards he was buzzing in the dressing room, and he should be as well, I say, because for a striker to go a lean spell and then get a goal, it's a great feeling. Of course, that result ended um, a barren run for Derby in the league. Yeah, it did. You know, no, no wins in the league since Boxing Day. That's too long for a team with this ability. Too long. And, and this is why I say, you know, I felt today was a very, very important afternoon. I just felt if Derby could get a win, I don't think it'll take much to, to kick-start this side again. They've got the ability. I mean, the bench today is so powerful. You know, Chris Martin comes on, Tom Ince comes on, Nick Blackman comes on. Not many teams at this, uh, this level have that option on the bench. And it was, you know, to, to halt the run was vitally important. And now, you know, this team's capable of going on a run. No one's getting carried away. Darren Russell I spoke to Darren Russell after the game and he made it perfectly clear. No one gets carried away after today, but it is a big moment. But it won't be a good result unless they can back it up on Wednesday against Blackburn Rovers with another win. And just on a final note, you know, Darren Russell enjoyed the game, you know, he enjoyed the win, he enjoyed the celebration. A bit of Barry Fry stroke Jose Mourinho running up and down touchline celebrating the goal, celebrating in front of the fans at the end of the game. And why not? You know, it's tough. You know, it's tough in those roles, head coach, manager. They're tough roles. There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of emotion goes involved, involved in it. And there was a lot of joy at the end for Darren. And him, he and the players deserve that.